girl i don't like stuff like that i like to be shocked i want to be like oh, appalled i want to be taken back i want to clutch my invisible pearl girl she has alopecia i cannot even make this up i have to go and get some real deodorant today because no ma'am you will not you're not gonna catch me slipping on the musty train what's up best friend i just got out of the shower per usual i'm kind of in a rush to get out of the house if you guys hear some noise i have laundry going i swear i always have laundry going but i'm about to do my morning skincare and i wanted to share with you guys really quickly so i've been using this good molecules niacinamide brightening toner for quite some time now and i absolutely love this stuff this is like my third bottle of this maybe i'll have everything linked down below but i really really like this i believe this like single-handedly has contributed to the hyperpigmentation on my skin getting a lot better because this area on my chin used to be so so dark from all of the breakouts as well as over here on my cheeks and this product does really really good good molecules is so affordable guys like i love their products so i just put it all over my face i worked out this morning so i was sweaty sometimes i just put it in my hand and kind of press it in but you know today i needed a cotton swab so it's up to you how you choose to apply your toner i do it both ways and i recently started back using vitamin c for a while i cut out all serums in my skincare so i was only using a toner a moisturizer and sunscreen in the morning that's it but i recently added back in vitamin c this one is from the ordinary and i do like this vitamin c has so many benefits and i just take a full dropper and put it in my hands and i just put it on my skin it feels so good. I love the Ordinary products. Really good and also super affordable. There's so many affordable options for skincare. Like, I'm just not about breaking the bank. Y'all already know. Especially if you can good, get really good products on the Lolo. That's good. Like, really, really good this is new this is another good molecules product this is their lightweight daily moisturizer i like this y'all know if you watch my shorts your girl is obsessed with this elf skin holy hydration face cream this one is fragrance free and it has hyaluronic acid and peptides i love this i will always have this in my skincare but i wanted to try something different because again i am starting to incorporate different skincare products since my skin has been doing so so good and i wanted to try a new moisturizer but this right here is holy grail this stuff is so good but i went to this um good molecules lightweight daily moisturizer it's formulated with shea butter macadamia seed oil and plant derived silicone alternative to hydrate smooth and nourish the skin all of that sis and i just put that much on my finger i used to be like i don't want no oils on my skin and i don't want to do a lot of moisturizer because i have oily skin girl the oily skin loves the moisture do y'all bring y'all skincare down y'all neck? Because I do. But I really do like that moisturizer. It's so good. And it's not greasy or sticky. And it does not have a scent. So I'm not sure if it's fragrance free. But to me it is. You can use this morning and night. And then of course sunscreen. I've been using this. But a minute, this is the Black Girl sunscreen. It's the only sunscreen that does not irritate my eyes and does not leave a white cast that I have tried. 
And if I'm being honest, I'm just not interested in changing up my sunscreen just because it took me so long to find one that works. And I take about the same amount that I did for the moisturizer and I rub that in my skin. This is a step I do not skip. And again, my hyperpigmentation has cleared up so, so much, y'all, so much. I don't use any eye serums in the morning unless I really need it, but today I don't feel like I need it. And I just started using the L'Oreal Revita Lift. This is the skin, I mean the eye serum. I really, really like this. It has these little beads on the wand. And mine looks a little foggy. That's one thing I don't like, but I guess it is what it is because I'm putting it on top of my other skincare. So that's why mine looks a little foggy. But this is the wand and it has those roller balls. Y'all, it feels so good. So I use this every night. I was using the one by Good Molecules, but I had to stop using this one because it was leaving little bumps on my eyes. But this one is really good. This is their Yerba Matte Wake Up Eye Gel. And I really did like this, but it started giving me those little bumps around my eyes and I don't know what that was about. So I had to discontinue that. This L'Oreal one, is pricey not gonna lie it's like 25 or 26 dollars but it's worth it i used to pay about that much for my philosophy one that i used to be obsessed with like obsessed with that y'all i did some braids in my hair listen sis at this stage of the game this is the curls blueberry mint scalp treatment i love this stuff but at this stage of the game, it's either I'm gonna keep my hair in braids or I'm gonna cut my hair again. And I'm really not trying to cut my hair again. I'm trying to just let it grow out. I don't wanna cut it again, but I get so frustrated with my hair because, girl, um, one, I work out and I sweat in my scalp. And so when I try to do, you know, my straight hair or even my curly hair, I find myself having to wash my hair a lot because my hair gets so freaking, my scalp gets so sweaty and my hair gets so dirty and the products don't last and all that other good jazz. So, so yesterday I put some braids in my hair and it didn't take me long at all. Girl, it didn't take me long at all. So I may go to um, the hair store and get me some uh, Rouse It like some jewels and stuff. I'm probably not, but it sounded good. Maybe, I'm not sure. Okay, where is my edge brush? Okay, girl, let me lay my edges and stuff because I need to be out the house like right now. All right, best friend. So I wanted to share with you guys a little OOTD. Guys, if my personality was a dress, it would probably be this. Like this is so freaking cute to me and it's so comfortable. I got it from a farmer's market a few, maybe like a month ago. I got it from a farmer's market and it was a little boutique that was out there. They had a stand and girl, I fell in love with this. So that's where I picked this up from. It has buttons and then it has like a little collar and pockets. Girl, I love it so, so, so much. Um, I will say it is sheer, a little see-through in the sunlight. So I do have on some biker shorts with it, but it's so cute, so flowy and comfortable. I absolutely love it. I've been waiting to wear it. And honestly, I think it's a vibe with my braids, girl. And then I just have on these flats that I've been having for forever now. I don't even know where these came from. Oh, Charlotte Roost because it's inside of the flip flop. So that's where I got these from the slides from Charlotte Roost and it has a little I don't know if you guys can see that a little gold detailing around the brim 
and I'm just gonna put on a crossbody, nothing crazy, but I had to show you guys the dress. I think it's just so stinking cute. Um, I kind of need to run to Target to pick up a few personal hygiene items, so we need to do that. And I may or may not run into Ulta because I have been wanting to get my hands on. Let me turn y'all around. What time is it? Uh, time for me to go. I've been wanting to get my hands on some of the new e.l.f. like um, contour, blush, and highlighter situations. I have the contour one, but the lady told me that they may be getting some blushes this week. So I may run to Ulta and just see if they have those because I've really been wanting to give them a try. The wands, that's what they are. So either way, I'll show you guys the contour one that I picked up whenever I get back, but I know I need to run to Target to pick up a few personal hygiene items because sis, I have been using the Dove Aluminum Free Deodorant baby it's not gonna keep me musty free in the summertime <laughs> like it has been failing your girl and we are still in spring we are not deep in summer yet so i have to go and get some real deodorant today because no ma'am you will not you're not gonna catch me slipping on the musty train i was gonna do my brows y'all but if i'm being honest i don't even have time like i really don't even have time to be doing this right now Y'all better move back. Get back. Girl, day dog food then came in and I didn't think it was gonna come in on time. So I stopped at the store to get a smaller bag of dog food and no sooner than I walked out of the store, guess what was on my doorstep? they dog food now they extra dang on prepared okay but now i'm about to put their dog food in a dang on <clears throat> container and they're gonna automatically think it's feeding time but golly golly <clears throat> They eat the Blue Buffalo Freedom for small adult dogs. It is um, grain free because Daisy has really bad skin allergies. Girl, I'm gonna tell y'all about that in a minute because that's a whole nother situation that didn't happen with Daisy, girl. girl so I came home and fixed me something to eat because I was starving hence my mess right here and now I'm just gonna do some stuff around the house so let's talk about listen to me dogs need a social security number so you can claim them on your taxes had to take Daisy to the vet Friday girl she has alopecia I cannot even make this up. My dog has alopecia. I noticed that her ears were getting so crusty on the inside. And then she was sitting on my lap on Thursday and I noticed like a patch of her hair missing on the outside of her ear. I thought she had like ear mites, which are not contagious at all. They're not, but dogs can get them. Or I thought she had like a yeast infection in the ear because maybe some water got in her ear. No, ma'am. She has alopecia. So 200 and some odd dollars later, she has to have a bath twice a week with this special medicated shampoo. And matter of fact, I need to do her ears with these wipes, medicated wipes that they gave us. And that has to be done twice a day, every day for 14 days. 
it is clearing up on her ears however her hair won't ever grow back and she has um a rat tail now which some of her hair has fallen out on her tail because she got the alopecia it's called something alopecia it's the alopecia that dogs get and i didn't even know that that was a thing for dogs so my poor girl <laughs> It's over here. She's in good spirits. Like she doesn't like she's not in any pain or anything like that. But I just noticed that her ears were thinning and it was a bald spot. So here we are. And it's not to say that her hair will fall out all over her body. Girl. In other news, I don't think that I told y'all. I know I ain't tell y'all. So like two weeks ago. I was upstairs finishing some schoolwork and I realized that we had a package at the front door. This was like on a Sunday. So I went outside to get the package and it's a Walmart delivery package. I'm like, we don't order from Walmart. We don't do DoorDash. We don't do like the grocery delivery. That's just going to be a no at this household. We'll do like the pickups at the store, but only at Target. We still do our own grocery shopping, all the things, okay? Like, we're those people. Y'all, a package arrived. We tried to call Walmart customer service. The lady was just like, y'all can throw it away or y'all can keep it because there's no way for us to track it because it actually came from a store. It wasn't like a mailman dropped it off. It was freaking five of these raw sugar simply hand washes. This is the green tea, cucumber, and aloe vera. Five of them. One of them had bust in the package, but we didn't know which Walmart it came from to bring it back or nothing. The lady was just like, you can throw it away or you can just keep it if you want it. She was like, we'll refund them the money. That's how Walmart doing business? Like, what in the world? Since then... It has been two or three times people were about to deliver groceries to our house. Like what? So the other day I had to get on the camera. Please hold. The other day I had to get on the camera because this young man was dropping off bags and bags and bags of freaking groceries and i was like excuse me that's not ours like that's not our groceries and that has continued to happen I don't know what's going on with that he was like oh this is the address that i have no sir i promise you it's not and in our neighborhood we did just well not we because i didn't build nothing they added they extended the subdivision in the back so i'm not quite sure if it's a mix up there but girl that's been a whole situation but i mean whoever this was for i hope they got their money back which i'm sure they did but this right here smells so good Girl, let me pick up my mess right here. And I bought some flowers from Target. And I want to show y'all those flowers from Target because as soon as I saw them, they made me so happy. So I'm going to put them in a vase and I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So let me clean up this mess. I'll be right there, friend. And I didn't get anything crazy at Target, y'all. Just some deodorant and some homegirl wash down there. You know, some feminine wash. But these are the flowers and they were $9.99 at Target. I was like, what in the world? They're so freaking pretty. I had to have them y'all like had to have them. They immediately made my heart smile. So I'm just going to put together an arrangement so that I can sit it out because girl, I mean, don't we all just love flowers?
here are the flowers friend they look so cute on this little table y'all they are so stinking pretty i love 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 the way that it turned out this just makes me so freaking happy <laughs> love her friend i'm back in my bathroom if you guys are wondering what vag wash i use it is vagisil and i love it but the ph balance one and oh girl i'm out of breath and the older black one i have a peppermint guys these are the two that i freaking swear by matter of fact let me put this one in my shower because i ran out of it last night girl and i was like what in the world normally i always have one on backup but clearly i didn't so that's what i use girl and for deodorant i just got the dove even tone i've used this one before and i really like this one because where's the one oh here you go this one this is so good but this is definitely for the winter honey it's not it's not gonna it ain't gonna do under these pits for the warmer months so girl yeah which one i want i'm gonna do the rejuvenating blossom so that's that and i'm almost out of my freaking miss dior girl i had to finish chewing that peppermint girl who feel like it didn't open me all up but i stopped by ulta and they didn't have any of the halo glow beauty wand blushes in yet they get their truck tomorrow so i'm gonna check back but online it said that they had some in store but they didn't have the one i wanted which is what they said they had in store but whatever this is the contour i picked this up last week this is in the shade deep tan it looks like this girl can y'all see that there we go so this is what it looks like the packaging and then this is the applicator let me see what this shade looks like oh yeah that's gonna be okay that's gonna be a good shade for me so that's what it looks like so i'm excited to give this a go because girls some of the girls got it already not my store right at the top not my store so that's what i wanted to show y'all like i said they didn't have the blushes but i'm definitely going to be on the lookout for the blushes because i do want to give that a try i don't plan on bringing it back because i have high hopes for it girl so we just gonna throw all of this away i am about to um straighten up my bathroom and then i want to decide on me a new book to read because i've been in a reading slump and i'll show you guys what i just finished reading and i think i want to read my next book off my kindle so yeah that's what we'll do we'll look at some books okay girl so let's help my camera don't down me so your girl has been in a reading slump and I wanted to talk books with you guys because I am getting back on track with my reading and I have been telling you guys that I was going to share books with you all and I feel like if I don't do it in a vlog then it's going to be a while before I do a sit down dedicated video with my books if you guys want me to do dedicated videos for books let me know but for now i think i'm just going to include them when i do different day in the life or vlog style videos it'll probably just be easier that way and i'll probably get more engagement until you know people jump on this book train with your girl so 
Um, I just finished reading this book. Guys, my neighbors are cutting their yard, so I'm sorry if y'all hear that. I just finished reading Party of Two, which is one of the books that I'm going to recommend to you guys. <sighs> I'm excited about that. If you guys are interested in books that I started reading, but then girl, I just couldn't get into them. Let me know because seven days of June is on that list. That's probably an unpopular opinion, but that book is so heavy. And I feel like when you're reading heavy books that have a lot of trauma, you have to be mentally prepared for that. And you have to be in that type of space. And when I started reading that book, I just didn't feel that like I wanted to read something that was fun and happy and lighthearted. Yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to share with you all books that I started and then I was just like, yeah, nah, I'm good on that because I could definitely do that. But for the purpose of this, I wanted to share some book recommendations with you guys. And so let's start with Party of Two because I just mentioned that to you guys. I recently just finished this book and it took me way longer than it should have for me to finish this it's by jasmine guillory it is a contemporary romance i love romance books i love J jasmine guillory's writing style it's so lighthearted. um it's just easy i like it it makes you happy it makes you feel all the feels but in good ways so it's two characters two main characters are max and olivia they both have really high powered jobs and they meet at this restaurant. They end up falling for each other. They have different challenges throughout one. Their careers is a huge, huge, um, plays a huge factor in the challenges they have in their relationship. And then some juicy stuff end up happening, which in my opinion, it really wasn't that juicy, but it was enough to be like oh, okay that was cute and they are an interracial couple which also plays a small factor i like the way that it was just a hint of that in there it didn't play like a big deal in their relationship so yeah definitely worth the read i give this one a three out of five stars five out of five stars i love this book this is ev drake starts over i read this maybe about a year ago or a year and a half ago and it is by linda holmes this had been on my tbr list for quite some time and we were at ollie's and i saw this and i had to have it such a good book this is a second chance romance i'm into the romance girl i want all the feels i want all the love okay just not dark love it'd be too much girl sometimes but this is a second chance romance um these two characters evie has a tragedy that happens to her and which was very unexpected and then the guy that she ends up falling for in this book he happens to be a baseball player that is struggling is in his career and he needed to get away and he ends up staying in evie's guest house and they really do have a connection through friendship in this book they get to know each other and all the things and they're trying to navigate their own lives and they take an interest in each other, but it takes some time to do that. So yeah, this is five out of five stars. I think I gave this one four out of five stars. This one was, it's called The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Can y'all tell what attracted me to this book? <laughs> the fact her name is Nina and Nina's are awesome. We're rare, but we're awesome. She is so funny like her um sarcasm i could definitely relate she is a redhead and so she's hot-headed she gonna tell you how it is but a lot of stuff ends up happening she ends up meeting her siblings that she has never met because she never knew her dad so that happens in this book and then she ends up falling in love so this is like 
a romance but at the same token it's like a family drama but it's not heavy at all it's really lighthearted and fun i think i read this in like three days such a good read y'all i'm probably not the best at giving like book reviews without notes so that's why i'm like if y'all wanted me to start doing book review dedicated book review videos i'll probably be able to go into a little bit more detail because i take notes another book by jasmine guillory this was my first book that i read by her over the christmas holiday and i read this in two days this is another contemporary romance this girl she's a designer and she has to take a trip to london and she asked her mom to go with her so her mom ended up going and her mom has an interest in one of the gentlemen that works for the queen you know the queen out there in london and they ended up hanging out together and having a really good time and then of course some friction happens and they think they'll never see each other again because they live in california and girl they fall in love girl i and i love it when it's black love like this is black love i love it so none of the trauma and all of that just pure black love and i love it come on jasmine so this is a really good book i think i gave this one five out of five stars because i just sat there and kept reading and kept reading and kept reading and like a day and a half i was done so good so let's talk about miss colleen hoover girl all the girls be talking about colleen i read ugly love it was good but it was like oh okay but then i read verity girl this right here has been my introduction to thrillers i've never been a thriller reader but i told myself i wanted to start venturing off into new genre of books and verity was very new genre honey girl what's the what is the one girl name the one um please hold because she got on my nerves girls on the back of the book lowing girl i want to slap her she was so thirsty from the dang on beginning of this book it she just annoyed me however this book is a little dark and i don't think people talk about that all the time verity is a good book but it is dark you are like what the fact that somebody can think the way that verity was thinking about her children girl <coughs> that was something to get used to okay i have not read the bonus chapter of this book because the bonus chapter kind of emerged after this book gained its popularity and i'm not gonna go and buy the limited edition book but i still have questions like y'all think the sun crazy i'm not gonna get no spoilers but do y'all think if colleen wrote a part two to this do y'all think the sun would be crazy i have quite questions i have questions five out of five stars i really did like this book it was a page turner like i could not put it down speaking of page turners lessons in chemistry i've mentioned this book to you guys before this is by bonnie garms i believe oh y'all got a tickle in my throat please hold okay bonnie garms lessons in chemistry i mentioned this book to you guys in a favorites video five out of five stars i love this book way more than i thought historical fiction so freaking good y'all like so so good honey the main character in this piece what's her name elizabeth zolt is by her business okay she not playing around and she is so matter of fact she's so witty um her sarcasm i don't even think it's like a mixture of her personality and a mixture of sarcasm unintentional sarcasm that's just girl i love this book few trigger warnings that you guys might want to look up when you really is trigger warnings in this one for real did i say that already it is but a few trigger warnings in this one 
that you guys might want to be aware of that some people could be sensitive to but overall this is such a good book i love historical fiction i i love that i love storytelling type books it's centered around her career and at the time when she started out being a scientist women weren't really you know recognized in that field and she fought through that and i love that and it also talks about how she had to kind of take a step back to do something that she didn't want to do and although she was doing something that she didn't want to do in tv she still made it her own and she made it her own and was able to incorporate something that she loved which was science okay girl moving on to my kindle recommendations so i read the silent patient i'll insert a picture here i think i gave that one a three out of five stars this is why i gave that one a three out of five stars because i figured it out before i was supposed to figure it out and girl i don't like stuff like that i like to be shocked i want to be like <gasps> appalled i want to be taken back i want to clutch my invisible pearls i did not do that with silent patient is it worth the read it is let me know down below if y'all read the silent patient it is by alex i don't know how to say his name but i'll put the picture right here another book oh y'all okay so i'm gonna mention this because i gave it a five out of five stars it is trauma filled from beginning to end it's called memphis <sighs> this is a beautiful book it has point of views from different women within several generations of a family and it's so captivating and it's so good it makes you cry it makes you angry it makes you laugh it's like all the things this one right here y'all i felt some kind of way but it's heavy sis like I needed to recover and I honestly think this book is why I could not go dead into seven days in June because if you read Memphis you need to kind of regroup you need to recover from all of that trauma but it's a mom her sister and then the mom's two girls and it takes you from different points it take the book takes you on a journey from their grandmother's perspective to what happened with their dads to what happened at birth to the trauma that happened with one of the sisters son with the trauma that happened to the other sister and her girls and girl it was a lot like girl it was heavy but is it worth the read Absa freaking lutely I would put that in the historical fiction category, but it was a lot. And that book is by Tara M. Stringfellow. And then the other book that I would recommend is one that I also mentioned in my favorites. It's called These Impossible Things by Samuel L. Wardani. Five out of five stars. I love that book. It is about three friends and they have been together from childhood it talks about religion it also talks about um uh oh sorry it talks about religion it talks about the belief system and marriage and cultural beliefs it is a lot um it got heavy at certain parts but the love that they have for each other as friends like girl get everybody needs friends like that so after college their friendship kind of falls apart because they go through a rough patch because it tests on those boundaries of their cultural beliefs because two of the friends have been in relationships with white men but they are the women are from muslim descent and that's frowned upon unless 
the guys convert to Muslims, which they had no plan on doing. So one of the friends ends up being disowned by her family. Another friend, she ends up breaking off her relationship and moving to Cairo to find herself, which ends up being a tragedy. And then you have another friend, she's just living this free spirited life because she feels like if she doesn't, um kind of commit to anyone then she's gonna find her perfect muslim husband which that ends up blowing it up in her face too and as much as they don't feel like they want to be around each other they end up needing each other so i hope that made sense to y'all because it was a good book and then i think for my next book i want it to be on my kindle and i believe i want it to be a thriller yeah so i've been looking at this book called the maid by nita prose and i was when i went to target earlier i just go and look at the book section just to kind of see what's new see what's out there not to even just buy anything but kind of just check out what's going on and i was reading the back of it although i've read it the back of it and kind of a synopsis of the book several times this lady was like oh my gosh that's such a good book and i was like okay maybe that's what i needed just just to go with it so i'm going to download matter of fact i'm gonna go ahead and press buy on my kindle because i just finished that contemporary romance so i like to kind of alternate between physical books and my kindle i like to read thrillers on my kindle because i have the app on my phone and thrillers if it's good, you want to know what happens. Like you want to continue to read it. So I like that I have the app on my phone. I'll keep you guys posted on how I like the maid. Let me know down below if you guys have read the maid or if you have read any of these books or plan to check these books out. Let me know if you guys like the book review. Girl, for what it was, I get so excited. Excited. I get so excited to talk to you guys about the books because I like to talk about books. That's just, you know, it's kind of the nerd in me. Okay, girl. And I know quite a few of you guys like to talk about books as well. All right, girl. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up here girl i feel like i've ran my mouth enough we're going to head out to the movies in a bit to go see guardian of the galaxy is that what it's called yeah guardian of the galaxy whatever i'm excited because i get to have popcorn that's my favorite part of going to the movies the snacks and of course the movie but first the snacks i will make sure that i list all of these books that i mentioned down below if you guys want to check any of them out and i'll have all of the skincare products that i used earlier linked down below for you guys so yeah let's get the conversation going in the comments girl and if you enjoyed this video and hanging out with your girl give it a big big thumbs up and i will catch you guys in the next one bye friends